Hi and welcome to Mr Jacobs Literacy Lesson today about writing instructions. Now this video is going out to the Maroon group at Larwood, so that's Miss Camini's class, Miss Gwynn's, Miss Powell's, Miss Trotts and Mr Jacobs class. What we're looking at today is the learning intention to write appropriately. So one thing I thought about doing for you today is looking at what we've been doing as a family over this lockdown period. And one of those things is playing games. We've been playing some of the games on the Wii. We've been creating our own games outside in the garden. But we've also been playing a lot of board games, which has been brilliant. My kids love playing board games. My little girl loves playing games like Pop to the Shops. Um, we played Twister last night. Gethin and I love playing uh, Monopoly. What I would like you to do is to try and think of a game. It can be an electronic game. It can be a game you like playing outside, or it could be a board game. But think of a game that you know pretty well. So a game you understand the rules of, you understand how to play, and you feel confident that if someone who'd never played that game before sat down next to you, you could describe how to play it so that they could understand how to play it and play the game with you. Now I have created some resources, which has been sent to your email address at home. The sizzling version creates a template for you. And what I'm challenging you to do there is to write some bullet points under certain headings. So for example, my game is, you might put in there snakes and ladders. To play my game, you will need, so what would you need for snakes and ladders? You would need a number of counters. So for the number of people that are playing, if you've got three people playing, you need three counters, for example. You need the playing board and you need some dice. I don't think you need anything else other than those materials there. Another game, you might need a fourth instruction. To start the game, again, would seem quite simple, but you might have your own way of deciding who starts the game. So you might each roll the dice, so each player rolls the dice, highest goes first. Or you might decide that the person, the youngest person playing starts, and then you go round clockwise, anti-clockwise, to the left, to the right, put it into your own words. Then to play the game, so you need some bullet points on how to play the die, the game. Roll the dice, move the number of um, points shown on the dice. Move around the board, if you come to a ladder, you move up the ladders, if you come to a snake, you move down the snake, and so on. To win the game, first one to get to the end seems quite an obvious one, but what about, for example, if you're playing on a 100 squared board, and you're at 97, and you roll a four. Now, does that mean you win the game? Does it mean you get to the end? Or do you need to roll a three, exactly? So you need to make up that rule yourself. And then put that into bullet points if you choose to do sizzling. If you choose to do hot, I have provided you with some possible headings you might choose, so again, equipment needed to start the game, to play the game, to win the game, you may have your own idea on that, but present it on that lined piece of paper. Now if there isn't enough room there, there is some spare lined paper included, again in case you don't have that at home. So that's hot. Scorching, similar in that I've given you some lined paper, I haven't given you any headed headings to use, you need to come up with your own headings, but I have challenged you to write extended sentences. So while sizzling you're writing bullet points, hot you're writing simple sentences. For scorching I'd like you to write extended sentences and then present your headings in paragraphs. So to play the game you'd write two, three, four, five maybe extended sentences describing how to play the game. So your challenge is to come up with the first one, start the game maybe, or equipment needed, then write a paragraph on how, what equipment you would need, then on how to play the game, and then finally how to win the game. And again, you've also got the lined paper should you need any more paper. So think of a game, go and play it with a relative, someone who's in the household with you, have fun playing it, and then when you feel confident enough to write a set of instructions, jot them down on the paper. And you know what? It might be worthwhile keeping those instructions because if you're anything like my family, we're forever losing the instructions and having to Google how to play the game. If you can write your own instructions on how to play it, fantastic. Your family can refer to that each time that you want to play the game. 
go and have some fun. I'd look forward to reading some instructions if you can get back to my email address, which your parents will have. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.